welcome to King County at your service. I'm Jackie Ablau. New chair, new priorities. Claudia Balducci was recently elected as chair of the King County Council. Here are her top priorities for 2020. We have a big year ahead of us. And when we work well together, we're able to achieve major complex goals. Topics that are coming to us this year include following through on the promise of the Regional Homelessness Authority that we adopted late last year, looking to the future of how we will fund and expand transit service to meet the vision of Metro Connects, a Harborview bond proposal to make capital improvements to maintain our world-class trauma facility, continuing our work to address the crisis in housing affordability in our region, and adopting our next biennial budget, which is, as usual, the most fundamental policy action we will take as a body. We are committed to providing excellent regional services and to make the opportunities to live in and thrive in King County available to all people to advance equity and justice. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. How do I take the 2020 census? In March 2020, you'll receive an invite to a simple questionnaire. You can complete it online, call by phone, or send it by mail. If you don't respond, a census taker will follow up and assist you. Shape your future. Start here. Visit 2020census.gov. Interested in working in government? A new fellowship program is designed to mentor young leaders and recruit new, diverse talent. I was looking for jobs related to working with community, bringing voices to the table. When I interviewed, it just felt right. I personally was like, okay, how do I get a seat at the table? I'm kind of just eager to learn how things are run, like being an observer, but then somewhere in this year, stop being an observer and, you know, be a doer. Right now, I'm currently working with the Climate Action Team. We're working on updating our Strategic Climate Action Plan for 2020. One of my main projects right now is to make sure that all of our administrative processes at King County um, are inclusive of gender and sexual orientation. The path that I want to go on for this fellowship is centered around understanding how funds are allocated to the different districts of King County, um, understanding the decision-making process. My intention for this year has been to understand how change can occur at a county government. I'm really excited to learn more about ways that we can engage the voices that haven't been heard because government is there to serve the community and making sure that we are making partnerships, strong partnerships with everyone. I'm really excited about that. Hello, my name is Elsa Batisboni. I work for the City of Seattle and I am very interested in supporting the census. This is about who we are and who do we want to be in the next 10 years. Please be counted. Are you disaster ready? King County Office of Emergency Management wants to make sure that you're prepared for, well, just about anything. Hi, I'm Danny. I understand that it's important to be disaster ready. I have a family emergency plan, but I know that there's more I can do. You're right. A plan is just the first step. You'll also need to assemble an emergency kit with enough supplies to last a week or more. Uh, that sounds expensive. It doesn't have to cost a lot. You already have most of the essential items lying around the house. Obvious items you'll want to include in your kit are water, non-perishable food, first aid supplies, hand crank radio, flashlight, and extra batteries. Hey, I think I'm getting the hang of this. But don't forget to include other important items such as your toothbrush, cleansing wipes, and even toilet paper. It's also a good idea to include cash in small denominations. If power and internet are down, ATMs, credit card readers, and gas pumps won't operate. All purchases will be cash only. Finally, it's a good idea to have a small emergency kit in your vehicle and a larger one in your home. Download checklists at makeitthrough.org. Be King County ready.
You know recycling is important, but those fees at the landfill can really add up. Well, here's a way to help save a lot of money and help save the planet. Everybody has garbage. Whether you live in the north end of King County or you live in the south end and all points in between, we all have garbage. So what can you do? Recycle. Now the landfill has a limited life, so the more we can recycle, the more we can use that resource. The more we recycle, the better it is for climate. So we have a program where we are trying to mitigate the the hurt at the pocketbook for those who have lesser incomes. Cleanup Lift is a discount on all garbage and recycling services at King County transfer stations and drop boxes. When you come to our facilities, you show an Orca Lift, a Provider One, or an EBT card when it's time to pay, and the scale operators will apply the discount. It's $12 off all garbage, refrigerant type appliances, yard waste, and clean wood recycling. Recycling your wood, your newspapers, your yard waste, sorting out your garbage are steps that we individually can take that collectively will make a difference for the generations to come. People come in with, with what we call mixed load garbage or let's say yard waste at the same time. Or if you're during a move, you might be uh, throwing away some stuff or an air conditioner or something like that. So you can get the discount on all those materials every single visit. Providing equitable recycling and garbage services uh, is just as important as providing access to things like parks or public transportation or even healthy food. Make a difference for all of us. Thanks for joining us for King County at your service. Visit us online at kingcounty.gov slash KCTV. See you next time.